What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a faded blur transition in Vegas Pro 15. Now before someone comments saying I've done this in Vegas Pro 14, which I did, in that video I only showed you how to apply that transition at the start. How about using it in between clips? So we'll change from this clip to this clip using a fading blur transition. Super simple, let's get to it. So. First of all, have your two clips side by side like this and now you can choose how long you want this transition to take. Now for me, I'm actually going to make it take two seconds. So in order to do this, the clip on the right, I'm going to drag it to the left one second. So as you can see, it says one, that's telling me one second. I'm then going to click the clip on the left and I'm going to drag this one second to the right. And once again, it's going to go to two seconds. But at the top, you can see it says one second because the clip on the left is now one second and the clip on the right is also one second, creating a two second transition. So at the moment, we have a simple blur like that. Now, I picked two seconds. Of course, you can experiment. If you want it quicker, then make it quicker. If you want it longer, of course, just make it longer. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is coming over to video effects and from there you're going to come down to Gaussian Blur and from there add on the default onto the first clip on the left. First of all your video is going to be blurred so what you want to do is turn down the horizontal and the vertical range to zero. Then press the clocks next to horizontal and press the clock next to vertical. Have sync cursor to media timeline highlighted then come to the beginning of the transition which is right here so you can see you can click it this is the start and what you're going to do is lay down a keyframe by pressing this button so as you can see we now have a diamond up here we're then going to come to the end of the fade again just left click and you can click it here and now what we're going to be doing is bringing up the horizontal and we're also going to bring up the vertical now i'm just going to put them to one of course, it depends how um, thick or heavy you want the blur to look. I'm just picking one because it's easier than sliding it about. Then we're done for the first part. We can now X out of this. Then we're going to add on a Gaussian blur again to the clip on the right. Now, this time it's a little bit different. So I'm going to start off with the horizontal and the vertical range all the way up. I'm then going to toggle the animations on both of them. So the very first keyframe now, we are going to be at 1. And then at the very end of the transition, which is here, we're going to left click and we're going to turn them back to 0. And you can see the clip has gone back to normal. So if I play this through now, this is now what we have. Just like that. It's really simple and it looks really nice. And again, this is a two second transition I created. You can see it's nice and slow, it will be pretty good for cinematics, but of course it depends on the pace of your video. Now what I also recommend doing, um, if you ever want to come back to adjust the blurs, come to the clip, right click and select media effects, or you can just click the video and then you'll see this right here with that F, just select it and it will bring you directly to it. So what you can also do with the keyframes, if you select one and then hold shift and select the other one, right click and then you can customize how the uh, blur will be. So you can see we can have it fast, slow, sharp, hold. Currently it's set to linear and you'll know it's set to linear because this line is just going straight up. So if I was to change this to a slow fade, for example, you can see this is now the line we have. It gradually builds up. So I'll change it to a slow fade for both of them. Again, we're just going to select the first keyframe, hold shift and select the other keyframe. And we're selecting the diamonds and we're going to right click and I'm going to select a slow fade. So you can see this time it's going up and over and I'm going to X out of it. And you may be able to notice the difference. You should be able to notice the difference. It's going to be a lot slower. So playing it through, you can see right there, that's the difference. But that's how simple it is to create a faded blur transition in Vegas Pro 15 and I hope this tutorial has helped you.